Yo, what's going on people? It's your boy Ape Pancho back at you again with another video. Now, I don't know how many of you guys have ever attended a funeral, but normally after a funeral, a wake takes place. Now, wake is a somewhat ceremony where you celebrate the life of a loved one, obviously, who's passed away. So normally you'd hire out some kind of function room or something similar to that. People would drink, have food and socialize with family and friends while celebrating, like I said before, the person's life who's passed away. Now, with the climate of 2020, nothing really does surprise me at this point. So last night, police were called shortly after 11 p.m. to report of a group of males fighting on Commercial Way in Peckham. The fight had a allegedly broke out at a wake near the Bradfield Club, which is near the Damilola Taylor Centre. And for you guys that don't know, Damilola Taylor was a 10-year-old boy who had tragically been stabbed to death in November of 2000 in the area. And also where this stabbing had taken place was close to where Abdi Rahman Mohammed was stabbed, also known as Abs, and that was the murder which Incognito was cleared for if we cast our minds back to a few years ago. So, when police arrived along with paramedics from London's ambulance service, an eyewitness described seeing 40 police officers at the scene of the wake where they had found two victims believed to be in their 20s. One had non-life-threatening injuries and refused any further medical treatment at the scene while the other was taken to hospital where today he still remains but it's uncertain at this moment in time what his condition is. Also a bull mastiff dog was stabbed and rushed to an animal hospital nearby. A woman who gave her name as Sinead who had spoke to the mirror online said the wake was following her auntie's funeral and her cousin was one of those stabbed. She said the attack was undertaken by mass men with guns, knives and other weapons adding she tried to help before the victims were taken in the ambulance. And at this current time, two males have been arrested on suspicion of a fray, while a crime scene remains in place as inquiries continue. And this morning, the youth club was sealed off, and a discarded balaclava was found in a garden, which is being examined by police. A neighbour, age 50, had said it was crazy. People were running around everywhere and screaming. I saw the dog was bleeding from its stomach. It was crying out in pain. It was heartbreaking. It was a funeral party, a sad occasion, made even worse. And that's all the updates surrounding this double stabbing of people and a singular stabbing of a dog, which happened in Peckham last night. And if there is any more updates to this situation, as always, I'll let you guys know. Now, there is actually footage of the attack taking place. I'm not gonna put it on YouTube, but if you go onto Twitter and type in specific keywords, you will find the footage. But just out of respect of the situation, I'm not gonna post it onto YouTube. Now, I first seen this story on Twitter last night, and what you've got to think is, when people are going to a wake, they're going to celebrate the person's life. And even if somebody was caught up in some situation, whether it's gang related or not, at this current time, I don't know if it's gang related, but if people are turning up with guns and knives, I can only assume that it is gang related. And you should allow that person to mourn and to celebrate that person's life. It's a funeral wake. Like a person's died. Do you really not value people's lives that much that you're going to go to a wake and potentially try and kill someone? Because if you're turning up with guns and knives, you're probably looking to use them, especially if it is gang related. But we see it time and time again. People are getting more reckless, they're becoming more careless, they just don't care, people have got no heart and this is the climate of 2020 around the whole of the UK, not just in London. We're seeing more of these crazy stories come out. Imagine going to a wake and trying to potentially kill people. Just blows my mind to think people could actually really do that, but you know, again, it is 2020 and that's just how it is. Now, there was early reports that the bull mastiff that had been stabbed was with the gang that turned up to the wake, but I'm unsure at this current time whether that this is still the case. And again, I'm not too sure on the condition of the dog, but I do believe he's okay, but I will keep you guys updated on the condition of the dog. But but imagine stabbing a dog though. Like, I think people have been listening to a little bit too much V9. V V9 too devilish, ching my dog for back in the owner. But let me know what you guys think of this in the comment section below. Give the video a little like. And if you want the latest drill, street, and music news out of the UK, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. It's been your boy Ape Pancho, and I'm out.